Hey guys, how's it going? This is X Fear X RKO here doing my second casting, and uh, I've brought along a friend of mine to join in on this casting. Yes, and uh, Bro Fester is actually a really talented Zerg player in 1v1, and his name says it pretty much, says it all. He's amazing with the Infestors. Right, Bro Fester? <laughs> Alright man, good to have you here to assist us with this casting. This game is going to be between myself with my old username XDoomXRKO versus a Root member from Root Gaming, which is, his name is Root Dusk. And uh, if you can just tell me what's going on over there on Dusk's space. Alright, and on my side, I'm actually opening with the 9 pylon, and uh, looks like I'm a failed chrono. Oh, actually, no, it came out perfectly, actually. And it looks like I'm dropping my gate now. Let's take a look here at the Zerg. Looks like it's some cheese coming in here, guys. And there he is getting more gas. And there's some exchange of words there. Me uh, pretty much talking to the root member. Um, telling him that I'm trying to work my way up to GSL. That's pretty pretty interesting. And as you guys can see, I didn't really wall off properly. Would I do that now? Hell no. I'd get crushed instantly. But uh yeah, the wall is very important here for the toss. And the player just pulled all his off of gas and speed Yep, speed link build it is. And he's scouting right now with those links heading to the top left. interesting it looks like I'm trying to wall off now I feel like the presence of a uh, rush is coming which this is horrible I haven't even scouted which uh, now I always tell my students to scout at a minute and a half between two minutes oh there's the zerglings yeah the micro is pretty much killing him right there and those zerglings really causing a lot of damage here Oh my god, two probes down. Three. Oh my god, this is not looking good for myself. <laughs> wow, this is not looking good for me right here. I'm really tr yeah. <laughs> oh, look at that speed. Oh my god. Oh man. It's not good. My cannon might finish. Can it hold? Oh. Just so close to holding that attack. This is just a ton of wave of Zerglings just whooping in. <laughs> yeah. It's like my gate's finished too. But uh it looks like it looks like it has only a couple of workers, right? Yeah, definitely. He needs to macro up now or he's going to fall to the pressure of it looks like a four gate. Uh, 
<laughs> yeah, and it, uh, who do you think is up now? I mean, even though that attack did crushing damage to my uh, STV count, I mean, probes, uh, what do you think? Yeah, and it looks like I did kind of a little bluff there. I'm saying that I had 25 probes. <laughs> Man, what an intense game. Right here you can see that the Zerg are really aggressive. In general, a fairly aggressive race. Just the Zerg, extremely aggressive at the beginning of the game with these uh, pushes, these timing pushes are just pretty much inevitable to hold off if you don't properly micro your uh, units. And it looks like we have some Skype problems with uh, Hunter, but we're going to try to fix the connection back and get the game back in sync. We can get that commentating perfectly here. And it looks like we're having some trouble connecting to... Uh, Fester, but uh, I would just continue this casting by myself until he gets uh, back online. And there is a little stalker just kind of kiting it and just getting a couple shots off, see if I can eliminate some circlings here. And there goes the void race. Oh my god, chrono void rates look pretty intense here. Let's keep an eye on the Zerg. Zerg is just fast hatching. Looks like he's sensing DTs, which uh, didn't really scout, so maybe he's going for a fast scout with the Overseer. And here he is, just with six slings. I mean, I should pretty much just push and lay down the hammer. Will I have enough to beat a root player? We're going to find out right now. Here he is. It looks like now he's getting his roach pump. And little spread there on the lings. Try to get a maximum damage on the attack. Just getting a few more void rays. And hopefully I hit soon. I don't want the Zerg to get back in the game. Let's see here. Zerg is at the bottom of the ramp, roaching. Looks like a ton of roaches coming now. And this could get pretty crazy in a matter of seconds. I mean, the Zerg is just so powerful with that larvae. Extremely powerful. There I am. Oh, looks like a push coming in from the Protoss. Myself, do Markeo, going for that push. And uh, if any of you guys would like some coaching, please be sure to check out my website. That's www.wix.com slash x s p h e r e x slash sphere. That's s p h e r e. And uh, if you need more information, the link is there on my video. And also, you can come to channel sphere in the North America region. We're a very popular clan from Brood War. And here comes that push. Hopefully these voids can really capitalize. I got another two voids coming in in my base now. And I'm going for that push. Let's see how it works out. Ignoring the expansion and the voids are just wreaking havoc here. Oh, there comes those roaches. I'm gonna have to really do some damage here. And I'm just going straight for the main There goes the roaches to help out and assist. Will I be able to hold this? Oh, losing a ton of units. Bad micro by the Zerg. Getting the queens and now just focus firing all the roaches. Nice. Just explosions of blood everywhere. Man, massive. This is just massive trying to get the queens. So I can get that full air dominance. And just these void raids are really just digging a hole inside the Zerg. I mean, this is not looking good. Focus firing that lair. This will just cripple his tech. And man, those void raids fully charged are just massive.
dealing a ton of damage. I lost the Voidry there. Looks like he's going for a push on my ramp. Am I going to be able to hold that off? Oh, blocking with the Zealots, but it's not going to be enough to contain that. What am I going to be able to do? It's not looking good for me. Looks like a base trade now, or a base race. I'm still dealing a ton of damage on his main. And now working on the Expo. And just the Zerglings, are, I mean the Roaches, sorry the Roaches, <laughs> are just really tearing it up over there on the top. There's my voids. Oh my god, barbecue. Texas Zergling Massacre. That's how I like to call it, boys. And here comes more. Uh, getting another void ray out here. And he's trying to focus fire to kill it. And it didn't come out. Oh, but just the voids are really just barbecuing these things, man. And there I took him out. Oh, no main. Can I get, can I win the game? Oh, and I saved that Void Ray. Just going to focus fire those workers. Pretty much a base trade here. And it looks like I'm going to try to get a, an expo over here near his base. Hopefully he doesn't scout it. Roach is doing work over there at my main. And then I have a Void Ray here by itself trying to get some kills on those Roaches. And it looks like, it looks like I'm going to pull away with the win. My god, just the domination of the Void Rays is just intense. And they're really packing some punch here. Jeez. Look at all those drones. The creep dying off, and all the spores are actually dying. There I am, saying pretty good game. Void Rays are still working on those roaches. It's just a massacre going on here. And he's looking for my last uh, base, trying to find where I am. But it looks like I've pretty much got this in the bag. Let's see what's going on here. Pushing to the right side. I'm going to try to finish off that spore crawler. Oh my god, I have to micro that and I saved it. He rebuilt his base now. I'm going to have to try to scout that and find that in Pretty much ended immediately. I'm getting up a forge here. Void still doing some damage up there in the top right. It's just pretty much whoever finds each other first wins the game here. God, vo void rays are so beautiful. I mean, seriously, they are. Just they're so elegant. Look at them just coming towards me. Oh, the Void Rays there. Dealing a tremendous amount of damage. Void Rays, Void Rays. Gotta get my Void Rays. Alright, there I am. Killing more workers. Look at the spine. Oh, the carnage. And it just looks like I have to find the Zerg and that's it. I'm getting my base rebuilt back together. There's a roach there. So I'm probably pretty nervous here. Poorly placed anti AA for the loss. The good game dropped by Root Dusk, and that'll be all for today. I hope you guys enjoyed that game. We'll just be uh, making sure you come to Channel Sphere if you want some 1v1 coaching. And uh, thank you guys for the cast.